Hi everybody, this is Karen. I want to welcome you to the first edition of Painting Hacks. I've been wanting to do some videos about certain hacks that I use for painting my encaustic paintings. Um, these hacks are geared more towards encaustic artists, but I think a lot of mixed media artists would find them helpful as well. We'll just cover a few today and I'll have more for you in the future. I love coming up with new and creative ways to expand um, my tools and ideas. So um, today I wanted to talk to you about scraping. Um, scraping is really important to encaustic artists. We scrape back a lot of layers, whether that's for making smooth finishes or if we just want to um, you know, unearth something that's underneath our painting. So some of the really great scrapers I found um, have not been traditionally used for encaustic scraping. For example, I present to you a piece of flashing. This flashing was actually purchased at my local hardwood store, at hardware store, and um, I've really enjoyed using it. It's metal and it's really thin and light. And what I like about it is that I can grip it and hold it like this, and then it allows me to scrape down on the painting and smooth out layers. And a lot of times I'll end up with some extra paint on here, which I either pop off or I might um, use my heat tool to melt that back into my, um, my paint jar. So, flashing this I believe this was 79 cents so I bought a few of these and I just love them that's one another thing is I got these little scraper guys also I think at a Menards or some other hardware store and I'm not sure exactly what they're used for but they're not traditional painting tools and I use them in the same way that I did with the flashing however you can see the size difference is pretty substantial. So this one allows you a lot more control in your scraping um, and you scrape up more of what you're trying to do. And I can go a little harder with this, which I like and um, also really enjoy this tool. So there are other types of scrapers like this one, for example, I purchased this uh, believe I believe through um, an art online an art store. I think it was either Blick or Jerry's Artorama and um, this is a really handy small kind of tool that has those two sides. So that's more for fine detail, smaller, gentler scraping in my opinion. Another one that everybody has or you can easily dig some up is a credit card. Um, this is a FedEx Kinko's card, but I've used multiple old credit cards and store cards and whatnot that are expired. And man, I love how well and flexible, flexible they are for scraping. This is a great tool. It's free and um, so easy to use and they eventually go bad. They, they might crack after a lot of use, so you can throw them out, but you probably have many more. Or friends or family can give you some old blockbuster cards or whatever they have laying around in their drawers. So those have been some of my scraping hacks for today. I hope you enjoyed those. And if you have any other scrapers that you'd like to tell me about, feel free to drop me a message. Thank you.